chain A. Here you can see that the sand active filter is to show performance in the current harmonic of nonlinear load in the power system. Okay. That means when you have to connect that nonlinear load in the power system, so it will be affect the source then. That means here you can consider so this is a normal system without having any common setting device right so it consists of those is known as a grid and it have non-linear load right so this is known as non-linear load <coughs> so non-linear nothing but here the we are used using three phase rectifier with the RL load so whenever the semiconducting uh, device is connected to the system power system so that semi because of the semiconducting diode the nonlinearity will be created in the power system because the characteristics of this uh, power semi semiconducting diode is not linear so that's why is shows that nonlinearity in the power system okay so when you connect this kind of uh, uh, rectifier or power semiconducting uh, device to the power system so it won't be affect the source current okay that means uh, normally you are going to connect this any load or load l load uh, that means capacity load the source current is normally sinusoidal right but when you have to connect this non-linear load what happened the source current is not non-linear okay so because of that what happened uh, because of this non-linear load right so reactive power will be consumed from that uh, grid okay so we need to compensate that reactive power so by inject injecting that uh, compensating current harmonic uh, compensating current to the grid or power system in order to make this source current sinusoidal so here i am going to simulate this model so we will get some idea so this is input right so here i am going to measure the input current then even input current nature so here you can see that the input current nature is non sinusoidal that means it going to follow the load so the current nature of load is reflected in the source okay so this is because of that uh, non-linear property of that uh, load right so uh, we need to make this source current sinusoid okay so we need to eliminate this harmonic so because of that what will be happen uh, it will be affect uh, the remaining load right it, it affect the remaining load uh, current quality also so not to avoid that problem so we need to <coughs> make this source current or grid current sign aside okay so for that purpose only we go for syntactic filter so here you can see that uh, so this is known as syntactic filters okay it consists of three phase inverter and capacitor connected to the connected to the uh, grid in parallel right so based upon uh, grid voltage and current measurement and then uh, voltage of this uh, diesel voltage of this capacitor co to generate the pulse for this voltage source inverter so here what happened that means it will going to inject compensating current so because of injecting compensating current so uh, what happened the source current going to be sinusoidal okay even though you will have nonlinear characteristics in the load current the source current will be maintained sinusoidal because of this compensation current injection okay so how it going to be work right so for that we need to measure uh, grid voltage via vb vc and then we have to convert it into 
V naught V alpha V beta. <coughs> and then you have to measure the current of the power system IA IAC and it's going to be converted to I naught I alpha I beta. So next you have to calculate uh, apparent power. That means uh, we have to calculate real and uh, reactive power. Okay, so this is a form of our uh, real and reactive power calculation. V alpha beta into I alpha beta star. So you can write V alpha minus J V beta plus into I alpha plus J beta. So finally you will get V alpha I alpha plus V beta I beta plus J into V alpha I beta minus V beta I alpha. Okay, from that we can write equation for real and reactive power in the matrix form. So this is a real and reactive power matrix. Okay, based upon that V alpha V beta quantity. So P equal to V alpha I alpha plus V beta I beta. Okay, so this equation. And then Q equal to V alpha min, uh, uh, minus V beta I alpha into V alpha I beta. So second equation, right? So this is a calculation of real and reactive power. Okay. And then next we move on to control algorithm, right? Uh, here we can see that we need to convert that source voltage into alpha beta quantity based upon that matrix, right? This matrix. And then I alpha that means load current, right? Load current or point of common coupling current, right? So, so based upon the point of common coupling current, you have to convert to ABC to alpha. So from that, from that we have to calculate V alpha beta, I alpha beta from that. So you have to calculate the real and reactive power, right? So by using this matrix, okay. So you have to calculate real, so reactive power, and then you have to calculate the real power. So this is actual real power. Okay. So next you need to do another thing, nothing but we need to maintain that diesel voltage that means capacitor of that is sent active power filter. So for that you have to measure the voltage across the capacitor and then going to be compared with the reference voltage. So this is reference voltage. So this is voltage across the uh, capacitor and then it's going to be normally process wave PA controller. So PA controller will generate the loss power, right? So this loss power going to be uh, subtracted to real power. Okay. And also you have to generate another power by means of this low pass filter. Okay. So finally we will get the, the real power. Okay. After subtracting that loss power and then uh, low pass filter power, right? In loss power. So finally we will get the real power. So next we need to uh, do that based upon this real power, reactive power, V alpha beta. So we need to generate the compensating current. Okay. So compensating current will be generated in, in the alpha beta quantity that should be converted to ABC quantity, right? So this current, compensating current will be compared with the load current and then is processed via hysteresis controller to generate the pulse for that uh, voltage source in what? So here we will see the statement uh, for that statement for that uh, the uh, uh, real power ca calculation, reactive calculation here. So I will share this paper so you will get better idea. Just you have to go through this one. Okay. So next. So instead of PA controller, right here, right. So here we are going to use a neural network controller, right. So that neural controller receive two input, one is uh, reference voltage, another one is error, right? So based upon this, uh, neural network going to be generate uh, a loss power, right? So how we are going to do that one, I will tell you, right? <coughs> so this is the simulation, normal simulation. So here you will get better idea. That means because of non-linear load, we are not getting at the source current sinus setup, okay? So next to move on to next simulation. That means send active power filter with the PA controller. Okay. Same system. Okay. Here we are using that send active filter. It having capacitor 
and then capacity voltage measured here so here we are having inverter right inverter voltage source inverter and then this is capacitor right outside we have a capacitor we have to measure the voltage and then when we compare with reference voltage in process we have PA controller right so finally we get the last one right so next you have to measure the point of common coupling voltage and load current so by using this uh, point of common coupling voltage and load current P loss you have to generate reference current right so here we are uh, using that formula so whatever the matrix we see in that right right v alpha v beta v zero right so by using that matrix you have to generate the voltage v zero v alpha v beta and then you have to generate i zero i alpha i beta so from there you have to calculate zero power and then P and Q, right? So uh, the matrix, so based upon this matrix, right? Matrix 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? CO2 generate and P and Q, okay? So after generating that P and Q, right? See here you can finally have this uh, real power and reactive power, and then we have some, uh, we are going to use low pass filter and then finally you have to subtract with the last power so this layer power is subtracted with this low pass filtered power and then finally it's going to be subtracted with the, this last power this one this area right this one implemented okay so and then finally you have to convert after uh, receiving that real the reactive power and then real power and zero sequence uh, real power and the zero sequence current so next we have to convert it into current reference right so we have to convert on saying v0 v alpha v beta and then from that you have to uh, convert to uh, that mean i0 i alpha i beta and then you have to convert to iabc iac ibc icc right so that means we are going to convert that alpha beta quantity into abc quantity right so based upon this equation right so after that we are getting that common setting current right so this is a reference for our common setting reference current so that reference current going to be compared with the normal in the here that inverter current right so this will convert here right reference can convert with the active power filter current and then process the hysteresis controller it will generate the getting pulse for this previous inverter right so it will control that the previous inverter for injecting the current and that means common setting current to the power system okay so finally it will inject that uh, current so we can see the common setting current also So here we can see the common setting current. Or else you can see uh, we have to use another scope. Okay. So this is those current, this is common setting current, and this is load current, right? And then you can delete this one. Now similar this model. So here you can I am going to zoom this part right. Now you can see that. So this is source current. So this is common sending current is injected to the 
system see this is load current right so now you can see the source current is, uh, is uh, near to sinus right okay uh, next you have to check the THD of the system so for that just go to tools FFT and click input to and expand this one you will get so 4.62 percentage of the DHT so when you have to see in sample same as the maximum frequency you will get 1.83 percentage of the DHT okay so this is with the PA controller okay so next move on to uh, how neural network will be trained so so neural network so when I am going to type neural network here what is neural network so neural network is series of all the endeavor during central integration of set of data so that means uh, it's like a brain whatever data you are going to give it is a match to some uh, data right for example we are seeing some uh, animal so based on animal structure we recognize that the name right same kind of uh, detail right so it having some uh, structure right so having a layer input layer hidden layer output layer so in input layer we need to provide input data and then output layer you have to provide some target data so for particular data it is a target so this is the uh, result right so based upon that what happened in between so we have different links right so this link weight going to be updated based upon our given input and output so it can be done in the MATLAB so for that we need to uh, gather the data input data so here in order to create that uh, uh, neural network right so we are uh, we are going to collect the data that means I'm, we are going to collect the uh, reference voltage reference voltage data and then error voltage data right uh, to the workspace right so this is used for storing the data in the workspace the error data and then uh, we are collecting the output data of the controller here right so we are storing the data in the workspace so after simulating this one right so this data going to be stored in the here right that means reference error output so next you have to create the input data so input data so this is the command for creating input data right reference and error so i am going to enter here okay that means so input equal to square bracket ref space e right so you will get uh, input data so already we have output data so next we go for neural network training right so here i am going to type in and start and click fitting app and click next here you can choose the input data so this is input data and then here you have to click the output data and then click matrix row okay after clicking that one you will see the next button right so just you have to click this one click next click next and then just you go to train the network right so based upon our input output data we are going to train the neural network just click this train network so it will take some uh, iteration to complete the process so the iteration is completed so here you can see the error right so error of the system right mean squared error as well as r value right you just to see the r values r value is near at 0.98 that means it's equal to 1 right so the r value should be nearer to 1 okay so here the r value is 1 here the r value is 0 0.99 here r equal 0 0.998 and here r is 0 0.99 okay so uh, for after a training of neural network just you have to see the r value of this uh, after training process the r value should be is near to 1 uh, what's the meaning uh, if r value equal to 1 so uh, the trained neural network uh, have that exact input output uh, data we are given right so the trained data will be trained well the neural network is the interval uh, based upon our input and target data okay so next so when you get r equal to 1 r equal to 1 just you have to click next button 
and click next and then click zoom link diagram okay so here after zoom link diagram so you will get the neural network here right just you have to copy just you have to copy this neural network and then you can paste it here, right just you have to paste it here so now this controller right this neural order going back is a controller for generating PLAS. So based upon reference, reference and the error. Okay. So now I am going to simulate this model. Same thing, right? Same model. So instead of the PA controller, we are we are going to use neural network controller, right? So neural network receive two inputs. One is reference voltage, another one is error. Okay. Now I am going to simulate this model. Here also you have to temper that will see the three reset that mean source current source current to load current and also we can see the form of changing current. So I'm going to zoom this one. So here also you can see that the current is compensated. So next you have to see about uh, F of T of this source current, right? For second value, right? For Nyquist frequency is around 4.53, but in case of PA controller is 4.63 percentage, so 0.1 percentage reduced in the neural network. So when I'm going to use same as maximum frequency, this value is 1.71, but in case of PA controller, that value is 1.83 percentage. So when compared to uh, PA controller, right, the neural network controller TH is reduced. Okay. So these are uh, advantages of this uh, neural network controlled uh, syntactic power filter for uh, uh, current harmonic compensation in the power system. So this is the working of this all model. Okay. Thank you.